Sometimes when you want something done, you have to do it yourself. As part of Black History Month celebration, meet the man who spearheaded the movement to preserve the 150-year history of blacks living on the North Shore. Leanne Trotter has the story. Lorraine Morton, our first uh, African-American mayor, city of Evanston. Dino Robinson has a passion for history, so when he discovered the lack of historical information about blacks living on the North Shore, he took on the challenge himself. All these pictures have stories of their own. He started collecting these stories of people like Edwin Jourdain, Evanston's first black alderman. He ran. He won. He was challenged, accused of voter fraud. He was unseated that very same day. Two years later, he ran again and won by a larger margin. And he held that position for 17 years. And Charles Harrison, an industrial designer for Sears back in the 1970s. The view master that everybody plays with, he's the one that redesigned that to what that iconic look. Toasters, TVs, furniture, you name it, he did it at Sears. I think he holds over 750 patents in his name. Over the years, Dino has collected thousands of research documents and other artifacts which are available for public view at the Shorefront Legacy Center. One of those uh, is to make this history common knowledge so there's not that, oh, I didn't know there were blacks up there. Evanston native Tina Lifford, who currently stars in the NBC drama Parenthood, will be performing at Shorefront later this month. Don't tear up on it. I, know, oh, I, I hear you tearing up. Recently, Dino surprised her publicist with a special picture. She said, yes, my mom grew up here, and she was part of this club called the Suburbanites. So I go in the archive room, pull out a box, and showed her the photographs in there, and she just started tearing up. He can show you pictures that you can't talk, and you're crying, and you're babbling, because it was awesome. He has pictures and things of my mother I don't have. Best impact that I want Shorefront to have, that people can come back and see the contributions of their descendants. That's very powerful. Reporting from Evanston, Leanne Trotter, NBC5 News. It's also beautiful. Hopefully people go check it out. You bet.